got out of hand and blown out of, you know, they blown things, they, they blow things up bigger than what things are really made, made out to be. So things happen. Lied Mayweather breaks his silence after his alleged arrest in Dubai. Moreover, the feud heating up between Gervin Davis and Mayweather is reaching a boiling point, reminiscent of searing grills at a summertime kickout. And here's the sizzling twist. The newest spicy addition to the drama courtesy of Tank appears to carry the distinct mark of Shocker Stevenson. But how exactly did Shocker Stevenson become entangled in their fiery conflict? Recently, there was quite a stir in the boxing world, as Devon threw some verbal jabs at Mayweather exposing his financial woes in Dubai, hinting he was stranded due to money troubles. Mayweather never want to back down fired back by showcasing a clip on his Instagram story featuring Shocker, who urged Davis to step up and accept the challenge. Say man, look man, your beef is not with Floyd Mayweather. You sitting here beefing with Floyd. It's a fighter out here that's been calling your name that want to fight you. Javante Tank Davis, let's make the fight happen, man. I'm tired of tweeting. I'm tired of talking about it. Stop ducking me and let's make the fight happen, man. Come on. Fast forward to last Sunday, and the saga reignited when Davis tweeted his willingness to take on Vasil Lomachenko in his next bout hours earlier following Lomachenko's utter dominance over George Cambosos Jr. D. Van Davis hopped on X to write in a now-deleted tweet, he's after Frank, let me get Frank first. Stevenson could not help but write back back, he's on the other side, though, after witnessing Davis plot another battle that does not include him. But this wasn't enough to make Davis stand up, so Stevenson took it a step further. In response, Davis said that LMA is truly free to sign with any team today in the end. Though Stevenson tweeted they are trying to freeze me out, call them. Floyd Mayweather told me about all these in a subsequent tweet. Stevenson, Mayweather's dynamic reads like a script straight out of a rom-com brimming with twists and turns. Their narrative unfolds with Davis triumphing over Rally Romero only to part ways, with Mayweather's promotion opting instead for Al Heyman's co you know, this decision marked a pivotal shift unleashing a roller coaster of emotions between the two moments of mutual admiration, clashed with bouts of animosity none more emblematic than their encounter surrounding the Ryan Garcia bout the previous year nevertheless he continued to prepare for the bout at Mayweather's gym, a decision that evidently rubbed the ex-champion the wrong way according to Davis in a tweet, Garcia had written you always act like you got some info, shut your ass up already, you big basically are just a shade room gossip page. I heard some stuff about you as well in response Davis wrote what that flights petty said I couldn't use his gym anymore I don't give a f nights not what I heard it's what I know chump in spite of this Floyd Mayweather came ringside to cheer on his former protege on the night of the bout though shocker Stevenson's hopes for a bout with Gervin Davis seemed distant the simmering animosity between Davis and Floyd Mayweather has taken center stage Yet one wonders was Mayweather merely leveraging Stevenson to settle scores with Davis, or does this rivalry run deeper than meets the eye? However, it looks like we're gearing up for a colossal showdown. Following Vasil Lomachenko's dominant victory over George Kimbosos Jr. Geraint Davis Wheelie threw down the gauntlet, despite murmurs about his age LM, dictated the tempo of the match, and sent Ferocious to the canvas twice in the 11th round, sealing the deal with a knockout as Giovanna Davis intensifies his preparations in the training camp. Gearing up for his upcoming bout against Frank Martin, anticipation runs high despite Martin's formidable reputation. Both Davis and many observers perceived this match as a seemingly straightforward affair. As mentioned before, Davis took to social media today issuing a direct challenge to LMA igniting a swift and spirited response from the boxing world. TalkSport editor Michael Benson made sure to draw attention to Lomachenko's reply to Davis's criticism right away. Benson wrote Vassal Lomachenko on Devon Davis, calling him out. You know during my boxing career I've never run around, and I've always taken fights after I rest a little bit, we can talk about the future. Meanwhile Bob Arum has put forth three contenders as potential opponents for Lomachenko following the intense bout amidst the fervor of the post-fight press conference. A journalist directed a pointed inquiry towards Arum regarding Lomachenko's forthcoming match. The astute top-ranked CEO swiftly presented a trio of enticing options for the Ukrainian to contemplate each brimming with anticipation and promise Arum said well, the idea here in this sport is to win the belts and win all four belts so you can take an inventory tank davis is fighting frank martin and it's a good fight and we'll see who wins that fight aram continued emmanuel navrit fights next saturday in san diego which is going to be on the espn for a lightweight championship if he was the 130 pounds champion now he's going up to 135 so he's a possibility
And finally, Aram said Shocker Stevenson is fighting in July in Newark, defending his WBC title, so he's a possibility. Although no official agreements have been made should any of the matchups Bob Aram hinted at materialize, fans can anticipate an electrifying evening. Yet, Jan Davis faces a significant obstacle in Frank Martin on his path toward a potential showdown with Vasyl Lomachenko on the other hand. When it comes to UFC President Dana White, all the attention Floyd Mayweather and Khabib Nurmagomedov received for their online taunting of one another is being ignored. He's adamant about steering clear of yet another of his star fighters venturing into the realm of boxing to take on Mayweather. His sole interest in engaging with Mayweather now seems to be limited to the octagon. White told TMZ Sports Listen if Mayweather wants to fight, come fight, you fight in the UFC. We're not boxing again. We did that once. That's over. You want to fight, come fight a real fight. White is presently directing his attention towards Nurmamadov navigating his affairs with the Nevada State Athletic Commission. He found himself in a pickle with them, following his, his leap over the octagon fence to confront Conor McGregor's corner after securing a submission victory over the Irishman at UFC 229 in early October, the commission initially froze his complete $2 million bout earnings yet recently decided to unfreeze half of it for the UFC lightweight title holder. He awaits a forthcoming appearance before the Athletic Commission to ascertain additional penalties anticipated to involve a monetary penalty and a period of suspension. White is biding his time anticipating the unfolding of events, yet he already has a potential adversary in his sights for Nurmaoff's eventual return to the ring. And surprisingly it's not a rematch with McGregor White continued, Tony Ferguson is the right fight, Tony Ferguson didn't lose the interim belt in a fight, so it's the right fight, it's the fight to make, we'll see how this whole thing plays out, because it's obviously going to depend on the suspension, and what happens, and we'll see amid all these developments, Floyd Mayweather is rumored to be arrested in Dubai due to an outstanding debt, it's quite unexpected that the head honcho of the money team renowned for his opulent way of life finds himself in financial distress. This revelation was confirmed by Rick Glazer, an esteemed member of the International Boxing Hall of Fame through X. Glazer disclosed that there's a substantial financial obligation hanging over Mayweather to the authorities in Dubai yet refrained from delving into precise figures. Interestingly, this debt has no ties to his boxing career, and Mayweather is actively pursuing negotiations to secure permission for his departure from the country. Glazer said, just got off the phone with my guy in Dubai. He told me that Floyd Mayweather is definitely being held by the government court system there as he owes a substantial amount of money in Dubai. They take indebtedness over there very seriously, was told the debt is unassociated with boxing flights desperately trying to work things out to no avail so far. So Devon Tank Davis is correct that flights being held there a short while back, Mayweather jetted off to Dubai, treating his social media fans to glimpses of his journey. Yet since then, he's kept mum about his adventures, sparking curiosity and conjecture among his eager followers. Glazers. Disclosure comes after Mayweather's former associate and fellow boxer Dan Davis made pre comments suggesting that Mayweather may have been detained in Dubai over money issues. Davis responded to a fan's query on Mayweather's whereabouts, stating he got to pay them people that money back if I'm lying. Tell him to go live right now. Many first discounted Davis's claim that Mayweather was being held in Dubai because of his complex relationship with the athlete. Like, Wise Glazer and Mayweather have not had a cordial relationship. Meanwhile, Mayweather embarked on yet another passionate outburst directed at a certain group of boxers. He criticized them for placing more importance on their image in the ring rather than their commitment to the sport. Drawing from his own experiences, Flyde underscored the stark contrast between simply admiring his accomplishments and understanding the immense effort he put in to achieve them. He stated a lot of times what these fighters are looking at. They're looking at Floyd with the cars, they're looking at Floyd being flashy man listen I made so many sacrifices y'all are looking at the end results Mayweather expressed his observation that many fighters are inclined to prioritize superficial aspects like his cars and extravagant lifestyle. He stressed that despite his considerable success he had to make numerous sacrifices yet people often only see the end results of his dedication and hard work. Even when he reached the pinnacle of success and amassed significant wealth, Mayweather maintained an unwavering dedication to his training regimen. He noted that many fighters seem preoccupied with their outward appearance and are stuck living from paycheck to paycheck, he expressed. And when I was champion, having hundreds of millions in the bank, I still was on my grind in that gym. Y'all are worried about your outfits, how your boots look, worried about the wrong things. A lot of you fighters are living check to check. However, Javent Davis perceived Mayweather's comments as veiled attacks aimed at him and 
wasted no time in responding. He took to Instagram to deliver a blistering retort directed at his former mentor. Davis asserted that Mayweather should focus on resolving an alleged hostage situation in Dubai instead of involving himself in Davis's affairs. Reposting Mayweather's T. Raw Davis launched into a succinct yet biting counterattack. Tank said and says all this, but he's in Dubai and can't leave because he's been taking money and not doing what they paid him to do and is a hater.